what's happened is your strike team has been sent off to the ship to recover and investigate what happened to it. You're in deep space, the ship is derelict, it's floating through 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 the outer reaches, and you've made contact and boarded here in the airlock. Your first objective is to restore power so that you can investigate. Unfortunately, you were sent on this mission and you were not aware that this ship has gone down to xenomorphs. Yeah. And so And uh why is this ship important? Why are we going out to to recover it? That's a great question. This is actually a colony ship, the colony ship Icarus. Okay. So it's been traveling through space to colonize um outer worlds, but it it just kind of went dark and so you were sent to to recover that, see if there's any survivors, um gather the supplies or you know, re recover the ship itself. So Okay, valuable asset here. Mm hmm All right. Yeah, your first goal is you're starting up there in the airlock, and you're going to be moving down into the engine room to restore power. Once you get there, you just need to sur you just need to spend one d4 rounds defending that system while it's being restored. To start out, you're going to be able to take a turn essentially with uh, each each one of your commandos, and then we'll do the xenomorph turn. All right, sounds good. So this will be Sarge here. Okay. And. Um, and I would know the layout of the ship that I need to head to the engine room. Yeah, you you know enough, and if you ever need need a map, um, we can just pop this back up to gotcha. show you. And so you have the schematics, you know how how things work for the ship, and so you shouldn't feel lost, um, just dark and most likely afraid eventually. Um, Sarge is you know going to chomp down on a big cigar, of course, and he's going to he's going to call to his team. He's like, all right, team. Ain't got damn time to stay around in the dark. Let's go. Sarge is going to move into the quarters, kind of leading the way as he's kind of the weapons weapons guy as well. And then he's going to be like, Tonto, get your ass in here. Let's go. So the, both these, uh, all three of them are going to move into the quarters and start making their way to the engine room. And uh, Decker, the systems, uh, she is going to hang tight uh, watching the rear guard. Uh, she's not going to be tip of the spear or anything, but they know they need her to get things online. And then Tonto's going to be like, where, where the hell are all the people, Sarge? Where are they? Why aren't they here? I don't get it. Well, for my turn, it's uh, every round, the Xenos spawn. And so I'm going to roll uh, a d20. Mm -hmm. We have six Xenomorphs spawn in a total of one location. Ooh. And so I'm I hear skittering somewhere. Somewhere. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so you've got, uh, whenever I roll locations, it's three D4s. So I'll just do one, yep. two, three. So that's area three, room one, section three okay. of that room. So we'll come over here to area three, room one, and we'll place. Oh. Oh, oh, and all six of them, huh? Yep, all six of them. Oh, crap. It makes sense they'd be in life support, you know? Mm -hmm. Feeding systems, making a little hive. Okay. And we're back to you. Oh, okay. wait, sorry. Last, uh, and then the other thing I have to roll is an escalation every turn. Oh, uh, every turn. Every Yeah, nice. every round. So an escalation okay. is just a d20. I rolled a 16. You got snatched. Okay. Randomly choose one of your commandos. Okay. Uh, I'll go from top to bottom. So uh, in my, I'm on the character sheet here. So Sarge is like one through two, all that. Uh, looks like it was Decker in the back. So Decker, all of a sudden you, you're looking forward, trying to figure out in the dark what's happening. You look back. Pff, Decker is completely <laughs> gone. Oh, crap. Okay. Um, if De you... Decker! Where did you go? <laughs> you can choose, if you so wish, to investigate and have a rescue op to find where they are. Oh, man. Shoot. Well, in fact, the fact that I only have three, <laughs> three people, the one's off the board and around. Okay, so, yeah, I, I definitely, uh, you know, not knowing the threat, but just being like, all right, you know, at first I'm just like, all right. Decker, you know, get your thumb out of your ass and let's get going. Mm -hmm. uh, but then with no response and calling out, be like, oh, I don't like to look to this, Tonto. 
Well, it's, uh, that, that power can wait. And this ship ain't going anywhere, but we gotta, we gotta get eyes on Decker. So I am gonna do the rescue op. Perfect. All right, give me 3d4. Okay. No. <laughs> oh, man. All right, four, two, four. Shoot. <laughs> All right, so we have a rescue op, and so in f area four, room two, that's oh, where her man. that's where her signal's coming from. Oh man, that was fast. Yeah, they oh, just damn. snatched her, and just while you're wondering what's going on, checking your comms, you just see you just see the blip mm. of of Decker's comm link just f cruising across the ship until it stops down here in the garage. So if you can man, reach man. down to the garage, you can. You can get a hold of Decker. All right, and of course, there's no way to get there besides going through the thick of things. So mm -hmm. it's like, all right, well, just it's past the engine room, so let's at least see what we got to work with. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna move down to the to area three. So you you cross th cross through from area three uh, area two into area three, and you enter into the sump room. You're on this mm. large uh, kind of walkway catwalk, and down below you see the water filtration system the water storage kind of every the well that the, the ship pulls from you hear a lot of the, slish, the splishing and splashing of, of the water and but you also hear the churning of the engine sleep mode it's not full power but it's it's enough to keep everything moving gently and on and keep life support going but not enough to support the power so you can see you can go to, over to the life support or you can go down and enter in some some crawl spaces between between the room and so that finding out where Decker was I consider a free action and this is your move so then you can still do okay. you can still have some actions if you wish all right um is there any like is there any form of like perceptions where like if I have uh let's see Tonto has a little bit of systems uh system skill so like if I have the the combat medic do the system skill to be able to like see like ping if there's other beans and stuff to where basically I would have awareness of the fact that the next room is uh, no bueno or yes. would that is that not really how it works no you can do that that's totally fine cool so uh, Sarge is gonna like creep in of course it's you know it's starting to creak and stuff and so um, Sarge is getting tested he's like look I don't like the looks of the way that uh, Decker was moving like that that ain't right that ain't natural uh, see if you can get any sort of you know, anything else going on. We know the ship ain't work, but uh, at least the doors are opening, so let's see if we can get a read. Tonto's going to use uh, Systems, which is plus two, uh, to be able to try to just get a read and uh, see the best route and see if there's any resistance. Kind of like, is anything waiting for him? All right, so nothing there. That's a seven. And so, yeah, he's kind of doing that, and Sarge would be like, like uh, going to say, all right, hold that. I'm going to check out what's over here. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use my action to check out this, uh, this crate, see what we got here. Perfect. Yep, you find an asset container. Give me a D12 roll. Nice. All right, you find a pack of explosives. So you can oh. set them. You can set them with a, a, a D4 fuse, and mm. you can destroy everything inside of a location. Nice. Why the hell are they calling us have explosives sitting in the sump pit? Doesn't don't make no sense. <laughs> uh, but these might be handy. So Sarge is gonna pocket those, get his pulse rifle up, and uh, and uh, keep moving to investigate over here at the crawl space. We'll finish your turn by having you be able to access the uh, the crawl space. You can see that it's a it's a bit of a maintenance uh, tunnel leading okay. through some of the the deeper inner workings of the ship. It's not a full walkway. You end up having to hunch or even crawl at times. So next up, we're gonna go move to the Xenos. They're gonna spawn four. And is it a D? Is it a D twenty of Xenos every turn? Yes. Oh man. So four four Xenos in one location. One, two, three. Uh. <laughs> All right. Get so, out of here. <laughs> so in area four, uh, room two. Oh, that's room two. That's oh. You got four. Four Xenos. And Those dice are out to get me. <laughs> And we're going to place a bit of a hive growth here um, to represent that this is mm. where Decker is. Okay. It's and funny then, how these roll. Makes sense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All 
All right, and then we're going to roll Escalation. So it's another D20. Uh, we got a two. Um, luckily, it's cut the power. You already have... Power's already gone, so no Escalation. Okay, so it's back to you. Okay. Um, sorry, just going to call uh, call Tonto over and say, All right, I'll get to this engine quick and uh, see what's going on with Decker. So Sarge is going to go into the crawl space. Uh, he's going to call, and they're both going to move into the crawl space. And, and uh, not sure how far I can get, but looking to get to the engine room. Mm -hmm. Sarge can probably get there. Tonto can't. And so, yep, you can probably get in there. And you can see the engine rooms there. And you, you've you been given instructions on how to uh, restore the power. All you need to do is spend two full rounds, at least one commando, in the engine room. Okay. If you'll have power again. You do, though, hear more xenomorphs as you look out into the engine room you can almost you can see that there is a group of them here that if any loud noises or any missteps will quickly draw their attention yeah sarge is definitely gonna you know lift up like his index finger to his mouth with like telling telling uh <laughs> tonto to shush <laughs> and like pointing like something something real bad's waiting anything else for tonto or sarge uh no, I just I just want Tonto to catch up. So Sarge is gonna have weapon ready. Okay. Yeah, just hold tight. Yep. Yeah, hold tight is sh for sure because we've got five more Xenos coming in, and split between two locations. Okay. First location is gonna be in area one, room four. Okay. Okay, and that's gonna be, we'll say three, and then the next location is area two. Room four, two, and that should have an additional two xenomorphs. And then escalation. We've got an eleven. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, unfortunately, you get as you're entering into the escape pod. You can uh, not in the escape pod. You, as you enter into the engine room, you can actually see some readouts of some errors going on with the ship, and you oh, see no. you actually see that the escape pods are broken. They're scrambled. They're not lined up correctly. And so, if you hope to survive, you're going to have to realign that telemetry. That objective is over in room. Area one, room two, up in the med bay. It's where you have the access panel for that for those escape pods. I could see this being a little bit more of a if you had a bigger squad. Hundred <laughs> <laughs> percent. Okay, nice so we've solid. got a line uplink, and we've got another objective up here in area one, room two, and then we're back to you. And with the power cut, I can't close any doors, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, yeah. So seeing that group that's just sitting and waiting, Sarge is not the kind to uh, hold fast, and he's and he's gonna like point to the panel. So I'm gonna have Tonto go ahead and uh, work on the engine, but Sarge is gonna be like, "All right, I don't like the looks of this. We're we're in deep shit, so we're gonna bring the pain before they do." And so I'm going to use a grenade uh, oh, nice. into that room to try and destroy as many as I can. Okay. So can you walk me through how that works? Because it's... Uh, so the pulse rifle is destroyed D4, but a grenade is destroyed D6 and always uses ammo. Yep. So do I do I check off the grenade and ammo? So I, I think for because they're already marked as grenade instead of just ammo, I would just mark the grenade off. Okay. Because I'm gonna, I to me it's the based off the sheet. It's four grenades, and you get three s slots of ammo. Okay. So I would mark off a grenade, roll in, and then just try to roll a d6 to destroy. Come on, them. come on, Max, Max. Oh, yeah. They squeal. They do squeal. Nice. <laughs> Yep, they do squeal. You you just toss that grenade in, and in that moment of, of bright, um, explosive light, you see them all kind of clump together along the walls and along the ceiling, um, but that quickly explodes. Um, but only you leave 
leaving one left burning, charred, little hunks <laughs> out of it, but still moving. <laughs> oh, shit. So, okay. Sounds good. Okay. So, do I get to use my pulse rifle as well to destroy D4 targets? I'm a little. I'm just a little bit unclear in how attacking works. I guess. For sure, I think it's it's essentially just saying I'm going to attack, use your weapons training, and then you do the thing with the gun. So, like, you could use the pulse rifle to just shoot and do the D4, or overload with ammo and do a D6, or you can say I'm going to use my grenade and use that instead of ammo. Okay. So Tonto's fixing the ship, uh, the engine, and turning, restoring the power. Timer's that timer's gone down by one, um, but you're you're standing there. And this Tonto. one, I got most of them. Ah. This one just rushes you. It's on fire. It's Come it's burying its teeth. All you you got to do is um, give me a dodge against ah, the target. Plus two. Yeah. Nice. Get a Sarge. <laughs> Yep, so it it's comes in slashing, but you, you saw it coming. It's it's a little disoriented from the explosion, and that extra light really makes it clear how you need to move to get out of the way, and you miss its strike because it slashes past you. But you have a yeah. full, clear view of these, these xenomorphs now and what's on this ship. Head and a half taller than you, big, muscly, and black, teeth bared with extra extra mouths. I think I know what happened to Decker. <laughs> Not looking good. All right, so then there's their move. Um, we're still going to spawn uh, two more xenomorphs in oh, four locations. So I guess it's just going to be one in each. Okay. Uh, so the first one is area three, room three. Oh. Um, oh. Okay. Right on top of us. Yep, oh, right man. on top of you. So you've been <laughs> um, you've been ambushed by one of them. So we're gonna we're gonna have to play with that. I'm just gonna quickly do the other one. Area yep. three, room four. Oh, no way. <laughs> okay, they're down here, luckily. But yes, so you've been ambushed because they're landing in your location. Any commando in that location needs to roll death, resist death, or die. <laughs> okay, they blow. They both have plus two, so this is a Sarge. Shit. <laughs> Oh, Tonto! <laughs> nice. Sarge goes down, man. He's yep. cocky. Yep, so all of a sudden this Xenomorph, is he's fighting this, this one on fire, and from above, the Xenomorph just <laughs> reaches down and just psh, takes off his head. Golly. Sarge, no! Okay. <laughs> I will say, though, that the next time Tonto, though, has to roll a death save because of that 20, yep. it's going to be easy. Okay. Yeah, he's he's on it. And then escalation is a two, <laughs> which is again a cut power. So they've already cut the power. He's still off. So lucked out there. Yep. All right. Well, it's back to you, Tonto. If you can. All right. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna. What is this guy? Tonto has a pulse rifle as well. So, rolling weapons. He's a combat medic. He's got plus four. Oh, re rolling this game. So, yeah, he misses. He's just spraying the walls. Ah! Yep. <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> well, by spending in the room, you are able, though, to reduce this down and the lights of the ship um, come back on. You see them in full glory or full, full horror, more like it. Uh, the engine starts churning. You feel the ship rumble beneath your feet. Um, as the ship comes back to life. So you've completed objective one. And he just pushes as he's just like, ah, oh, shit, come on, Decker. Maybe you got a chance. And he's just going to like hit the big red button that finally like, you know, flips the big toggle switch that actually powers on the whole ship. And mm -hmm. he's staring down the face of these things. Just for your knowledge, you have, you still have the rescue op and the align telemetry, but those were setbacks. Um, based on yep. your, but based off your orders given um, originally, your next objective is going to be um, a twenty. Tapped into some of the co the links of the ship, you actually recognize that as soon as you turn the lights on, it registers additional mercenaries and oh. rogue agents in um, oh. in the ship. 
you don't know how they how they were involved. They may have been the cause, if not the xenomorphs, of the uh, of the ships kind of uh, going under. But we've got four locations, which means four. So you've got area three. Room, with the bugs. room one, you've got it. You register a commando here. <laughs> area four, room two, down here. Probably fighting some bugs. I think they're in league with them somehow. Area one, room one. Up here. <laughs> and area one, room two. Hmm. <laughs> Messing with the thing, escape pods too. Yeah, they might have—they might have been the ones that set it off. So your next objective is to find each of these guys and eliminate them. <laughs> Get it, Tonto. <laughs> Did the xenomorphs attack? Um, no, because I think that was part of the. I already—I just spawned these guys in. Okay. That was all. That was uh, all happening on my turn. So now it's back to you, right? Oh, because I well, I had attacked and missed. And so, oh yes, that's I, right. The Xenos get a turn here. Yep, they do. So these guys come in, and each one of them is going to attack you. So you need to make two dodges. Right and he's already down. So that's a uh, that's two injuries, or am I am I dead? No, nope, two. Those are just two injuries. Man, come on, Tom. Oh. <laughs> And he takes it so now. If he kills them when they're close, they actually takes that. There's a chance he takes acid damage too, right? Yep, that's very <laughs> true. If they, yeah, if they roll a when they die um, as a group, you'll just roll a d4, and if if you get a one, you'll take acid damage. Yeah, well, you know, just to role play it. Uh, besides just having fun, and I, 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 my situation looks quite dire, and <laughs> so uh, Tonto is, you know, he's named that. Not only because of his, you know, love of the old ways, but because he carries a huge old Bowie knife, and uh, he's like, ah, damn it! You know, the pulse rifle can't hit a, a, a thing, so he's gonna toss it on the ground. He's gonna slash at these things with the uh, with the Bowie knife. So, doing weapons here, he gets plus four. Ooh. Golly, <laughs> nothing. Okay, well, just, it, uh, I think his knife just dissolves as he he does hit <laughs> one, but it's just like. Oh no! <laughs> the blade just goes away, and acid. <laughs> nice. Well, you still have a move. Shoot. Uh, he's gonna try to get to Decker, I guess. So he's gonna go to Area Four, try to skedaddle. So they are in Area Four. These guys will be following you. But of you do. You do enter into the refinery. It's it's a low. It's a room loaded up with pipes and large machines, tanks, and vats and. All sorts of stuff. So hiding here could be easy, um, but it's also not a lot of open space. Okay, he's gonna. Um, yeah, he's just he's trucking. So he used his action. So he's moving. Nice. That's All it. right. So we're gonna spawn some xenomorphs. Nineteen <laughs> in two locations. So we'll split them. Um, Come on. Nine and Let's ten. Let's see it right in front of me. That would so be amazing. So first one. Area three, room four. Okay. Okay. So the first one coming over here, area three, room four, is we're gonna add, we're gonna add ten to these guys. Glad we didn't go in the crawl space. And, uh, and then the second room that they respawn in is area two, room four. <laughs> and so we're gonna add an additional nine to these guys. And then we're going to come back down here to area three, and these two guys are going to move. We're going to move this way after you, and they're going to just come in right behind you. And I need you to roll two dodges again. <laughs> oh, made one of them. Ooh. Yeah, there you go, Tonto. I love it. <laughs> the machinery in the pipes definitely helps. Like you, you duck under the pipes. They claw at the metal. They get stuck. You know, they're just beating they around. Want to the face for sure. Okay, and then we've got um, an escalation going. I think it's that classic uh, movie moment too, where there's just a you know a bookcase or crates where I just like throw it down in front of them and slow them down just for a second. <laughs> okay. All right. Again, we've rolled Fubard, which is the escape pod. So lucked out on the escalation again. <sighs> 
And now it's back to you. Just Kay. just ahead, you can see you're getting close to to, to, to Decker. I feel like I need to kill these these suckers, but uh, seeing the acid blood and being all tangled up close to them, what I want to do is I want to run. Like I don't know any better. I just know that Decker's in the room, you know. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna run and try to like slam the door and close the door behind me to the refinery. Okay. Uh, give me an easy systems. Okay. I get uh, for systems it's plus two. So he did it. Pulled it off. He uh, slams the door and turns back around and takes in what's happening, and then he just kind of poops his pants a little bit. I think. <laughs> yeah. So you <laughs> out look of the fire. <laughs> yep, you look around and you see that this room, this garage, has been taken over by a, uh, a squad of xenomorphs. They seem to be tending to some growths of their own hive. You see colonists already sort of uh, dissolved, slowly decaying, and mm. you see Decker in a freshly formed hive sack, wrapped up in their in their uh, solidified yeah. juices, and she's still alive. But unfortunately, she is pretty, pretty tied down, and you do see additional four xenomorphs yeah. that recognize you immediately. Yeah, they do. Um, so that you close the door. Uh, was in there anything else? I don't oh. think there's anything else I can do. Is there? I'll let you try to shoot them. Know. You know, you were. You uh, had... Sure. Yeah, let's do that. So plus four, plus four to weapons. Man. This game needs hero points or something. <laughs> Jeez. All right. That's okay. it. All right. So let's spawn some Xenomorphs first. Whew. 20. Oh, no. Come on. And one two, location. Two locations. <laughs> area first, four. First one is okay. area one, room three. So we're going to have this guy come over here. 10 Xenomorphs. And the second set of 10 is in area one, room four. So these guys are going to turn up to 13. And these xenomorphs are all going to rush in. You hear you hear behind <laughs> you these xenomorphs slam into the door you shut. You hear them clawing and scraping. You don't know how long that's going to hold. Yeah. I need you to dodge four, four attacks. Let's go. Ooh, come on. Oh, nice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> One more injury. I'm at three injuries. Nice. You they, you you successfully dodge out again. That uh, your your Tonto is just light on his feet as he moves around. <laughs> but we got another escalation. All of a sudden, <laughs> oh, no. we got we got man down, and we're gonna make it for for ease. We're gonna make this Decker. All of a sudden, the uh, the signals of Decker's life. Uh, life support goes off knowing that she's in critical condition you need to get Decker from where she is to a medical area which mm -hmm. if we look at our map the nearest yep. medical area is up here in area one yep for every route every turn or every round that she is not in a medical area then she has to roll death or she has to make a death save or die all right so, is it back to me? Uh, yes. I, I think this is, I mean, I'm just hearing, like, my sensor readout and my comm link is just hearing the flat line um, of Decker. Mm -hmm. And I'm, like, bleeding out, and I think one of my arms is probably starting to fall off from acid. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think Tonto's going to look at this, and he's going to, he picked up the explosives. Uh, from Sarge as he kind of ran by and he's just gonna set those explosives to a d4 timer right at his feet and just give all these creatures a big old bird and uh, <laughs> you know just flip them all off like a, any good marine would and he's gonna tell Decker like sorry Decker I tried sorry Sarge <laughs> but damn if this ship won't go down with us he's gonna drop those explosives and I think after he flips the bird he's gonna kind of do uh, you know, crossing the heart and the sign of the cross, <laughs> mm -hmm. <Very laughs> and nice. just sit back against the wall. <laughs> okay, roll that d4. Whew. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> yep. So, if you'd like for that d4, do you want it to go off before they have a chance to attack you? Oh yeah. 
Okay. So maybe systems? Can you roll systems to rig it? Sure, go for it. To go out in his own terms? Yeah. That's yeah, right. You do. Dirty 20. Dirty 20, <laughs> yep. Okay, all of a sudden, you just, you just pick it out of your pocket in slow motion. You look at it, and you just hit the button um, to bypass the timer, and it just... <laughs> explodes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you and all the xenomorphs. <laughs> Go off. Icarus. Icarus does <laughs> and end in a fate of flames. Yep. <laughs> Keep yeah. true to its namesake. And that was Xeno Dead Zone. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> That was badass, man. That was good. <laughs>